Okay, so there's just one more thing I want to talk about with lines, and that is horizontal and vertical lines. So let's start with horizontal lines. So horizontal lines, if we imagine some axes, a horizontal line is just any line that goes horizontally. Let's draw it somewhere up here. There we go. And so when we have a horizontal line, I just want to comment that horizontal lines have a slope of zero. So as we go to the right, we are going up zero, right by whatever, so maybe like right one. And so our slope would be zero over one, which is zero. So that's why the slope is zero. Um, we're on a flat line and nothing's going up or down, so the slope is zero. Then if we were to write an equation for these lines, I like to think, um, instead of trying to memorize what the formulas are, I like to think that on the horizontal line, all of the y values are the same. So no matter which x value we go horizontally, it's always up the same amount on the y axis. So if we think of a set of points, they might have different x values, but they all go up the same amount up to that line or down to that line if it was lower on the graph. So they have the same y value, meaning our equation is y equals something. So let's say this one is at a, we'll say y equals a is the equation for this horizontal line. Okay, then moving on to vertical lines, let's try that out. So for vertical lines, here I will draw some axes again, and let's draw a vertical line of some kind. So I'm just going to draw it over here. For vertical lines, we actually say the slope is undefined. So this is because if we think about the change in the y over the change in the x, let's say we go one step at a time. So maybe we go like down one over by zero. We don't go left or right. We're just going like up or down one over by zero. So this would be one divided by zero, which is undefined. We can't divide by zero. So basically the slope is undefined. We're not really going increasing. We're not going decreasing. We're not staying level. We're just like on this straight up vertical. So we say the slope is undefined for vertical lines. If we were to write a formula, let's talk through a similar argument as the horizontal lines. So if we look at points on the line, we have different y values, different vertical values for each of these, but the x value, the horizontal, is always the same. So we're always over the same amount of x, so we don't need to memorize a formula here. We can just think, okay, let's say this is at b um, on the x, so our equation would be x equals b. All of the x values on that line have the same value. They're all over by b. Okay, so that is horizontal and vertical lines, just a little short review in case you haven't seen that in a while.